Philippine Mining Act of 1995, Section 2, Declaration of Policy. All mineral resources in public and private lands within the territory and economic zone of the Republic of the Philippines are owned by the state. I am Chanto Camusano. My name is Jetteri Aldamar. I am Ruana Almerante. I am Jubiros Balyao. And I am Joanna Mariduga. And this is the Philippine Mining Law. Mining in the Philippines plays a crucial role in the pursuit of industrial development because of its ability to provide mineral resources that serve as raw materials for manufacturing, construction, utilities, and services subsectors. 1987 Constitution in Article 12, Section 2 National Economy and Patrimony, Department of Environment and Natural Resources Mines and Geoscience Bureau Regional Office No. 12 states that all lands of the public domains, waters, minerals, coal, petroleum, and other mineral oils, all forces of potential energy, fisheries, forests, or timber, wildlife, flora, and fauna, and other natural resources are owned by the state. It shall be the responsibility of the state to promote the rational exploration, development, utilization, and conservation through the combined efforts of the government and private sector in order to enhance national growth in a way that effectively safeguards the environment and protects the rights of affected communities. The qualified person, according to Department of Environment and Natural Resources Mines and Geoscience Bureau Regional Office No. 12, states that means any Filipino citizen of legal age and with capacity to contract or a corporation, partnership, association, or cooperative organized or authorized for the purpose of engaging in mining with technical and financial capability to undertake mineral resources development and duly registered in accordance with law, at least 60% of the capital of which is owned by Filipino citizens, provided that the legally organized foreign-owned corporation shall be deemed a qualified person for purposes of granting an exploration permit, FTAA, or mineral processing permit only. The advantages of mining. Mining can help us to assure the supply of important resources, important for our technological progress. Mining is necessary for many products of our daily life. Employment opportunities for many poor people in our planet can help poor regions to develop and progress. Different kinds of mining, mature technology, efficiency of process have been optimized over time. Major income source for some countries can help people to increase their wealth may help to increase the economic growth of a country. Establishing the Halau River Watershed Forest Reserve for the purposes of protecting, maintaining, or improving the water yield and providing restraining mechanism for inappropriate forest exploitation in disrupted land use. A certain parcel of land of public domain in the eastern portion of Banay and courses through Pasi City and town of Liganes, Saraga, Dumangas, Barotac Nuevo, Botota, Dingli, San Indi, Duenya, Sino, all in the Philippines. Empower community with sustainable sources of livelihood, enjoying basic social services, living in a clean environment, a disaster resilient community adapted to climate change. Sustainable and optical development of Halau River Basin resources through an integrated river basin management approach involving the participation of all stakeholders to improve their quality of life. Halao River, also known as Halawood River, is the 17th largest river system in the Philippines by drainage basin and has an estimated drainage area of 1,530 square kilometers. 
Its source is located at Mount Baloy in the central Panay mountain range and the river traverses from east to southeast before emptying into the Gimara Strait. Drains the eastern portion of Panay and courses through Pasi City and the towns of Leganes, Zaraga, Dumangas, Barotacnevo, Pototan, Dinle, San Enrique, Duenas, Kalinog, and whole province of Iloilo. The river provides irrigation to farmlands as well as providing the source of potable water. The river is the site of the Halaor Megadam project which began last 2019. According to the article that I had read, waterways needs to be cleaned. In fact, quarrying should be encouraged but in a controlled manner. Because of mechanical weathering and chemical weathering, the rocks from the land break down and goes down to the water and that makes the level of the river rise. Quarrying would be one of the good solutions, but it has to be planned and controlled. Huge volumes of sand and aggregates were being quarried from the portions of Halaor River in Barangay Balud, Saraga and Barangay Bantod, Fabrica, Dumangas. The law of mining is connected to the issue of the Halaor River because it is a policy that allows the state to pursue economic growth in a manner consistent with the protection, preservation, and revival of the quality of our land and marine waters. Pursuant to this policy statement, the Halaor River system shall be managed consistently. Like if Halaor River is being treated by other people for illegal processes, there's a law of mining that shall be known as the Philippine Mining Act 1995, Section Number 2, Declaration of Policy that owe minerals, resources, and public and private lands in the territory and exclusive economic zone of the Republic of the Philippines are owned by only the state. The mining sector might be profitable. Power for a privileged group of men. And women, yet constantly the men would be crushed and smashed by its innermost threads.